is destroying Twitter and shut down the API, I want to show you an easy and free way to delete all your tweets. Um, these are the steps that we will do. Um, you can just do them yourself or follow along with me. First, you need your Twitter archive. So that's the, all the data that you produced on Twitter. You can either use this link to go there direct, directly or go to twitter.com, um, then select settings, um, your account, download an archive of your data. Um, you need to authorize yourself depending on your um, settings, you will have to enter a code as well. Um, um, and then you will have here a button um, to request, request your archive. I already did this, um, so I already downloaded it. And here's my archive. I can just unzip it by double clicking it on macOS. Um, on Windows, you select it and say um, unzip it here. Now to the next step, um, we need the script. So um, this is hosted on GitHub. Um, you can either use this URL, bit.ly slash tweet xr. Um, and then you can copy it from here or you can press the raw button and then select all um, and copy um, or command A, command C, A, sorry. <laughs> um, and we can go to the next step. Now we need to open the browser console on twitter.com. Um, please don't do this if, if, you, if you care about the data there. Um, so whenever you paste some code to the browser console, um, the code can access everything that's on that page. Um, and if, if there is some sensitive information there or passwords or something like that, um, then the person who created the code could use it to, to um, get the data or to send it somewhere else. Um, but you can also review this code um, to see what it does and you will see that the code does not send any of the data um, somewhere else. It just uses it to send the delete commands to Twitter to remove the tweets. Um, to open the browser console, we are at step three. On Windows, you can press F12. Um, on macOS, you can um, press Option, Command, and I, um, or you can use the menu. Um, you go to the settings, oops, sorry, not the settings, to more tools um, than web developer tools. And you may be at the inspector tab, um, you have to switch to the console. Um, there are already some error and warnings. This is just stuff from Twitter um, that you can ignore. Um, you will now have to paste the code that you copied here at the bottom. Um, you can just use the menu or um, command C to paste the code here. And then you will have to press enter to execute the code. Um, once you have done this, there will be a new area at, top of the, at the top of the page. Um, here is where you can select the tweet headers JS file or the tweets JS file. Um, if you click on advanced options, you see um, what else you can do with it. We will just use it to delete our tweets. So now you click the select button. Um, we have the unzipped file with our Twitter data. We switch to the subfolder data and look for um, and either tweets.js or tweet headers.js. And that's somewhere here. Here is the tweets.js and here is the tweet headers.js. Um, this one is a bit smaller, so it would be a bit faster depending on how, how many tweets you have. Um, but you can use either, either, both, either of them um, to contain um, the same IDs um, for the deletion. Use open and it will automatically start and it will de delete tweet after tweet and here you have the progress bar and then you just have to wait until it's finished um, depending on your internet connection on your computer and the, how fast the Twitter servers are. It will delete about five tweets per, seconds, per second and it will just take some time until everything is deleted. I hope this helped.
Um, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments and either someone else or I can try to answer them. Um, once again, please don't use the console with, with code from untrusted sources. Uh, it's quite easy to, to steal data from there. Um, but if, if you trust me, or trust the author of the code, um, then you can use it um, to do things that the website owners may not want you to do or be able to do. Another thing, um, if you don't want to work with the console itself, um, you could also use the uh, user, user script. Um, crazy fork, here it is. You can go to this URL um, and if you use Damper Monkey or Grease Monkey or another browser add-on, then you can install the tool. Um, and when you then go to Twitter, you have the option to enable it or it would be enabled by default. So you have this tweet extra script. Um, you can just reload the page once or twice, I think. I don't remember it exactly. And the um, menu will appear automatically. So you don't have to paste anything if you use Temper Monkey to install the script. Um, and once uh, the tweets are deleted, you can deactivate um, or uh, just uh, delete the script again. Um, and then it's gone. gone. Um, and you could reinstall it uh, if you want to. These are the six steps that are necessary to delete all your tweets. Um, there will always be some tweets left at the end, um, not, not on your profile. So they, there is just a number that they count that says how many tweets someone wrote. Um, it will still say that there are some tweets there um, because there are some tweets that are undeletable. Um, I don't know yet what's the reason for that. Um, so at the moment, I think it's, it's retweets um, of tweets that got deleted because as far as I know, once a, a retweet, um, once you retweet something, the counter goes up. So it says you have another, you produce another tweet. Um, but when the original tweet gets deleted, maybe from the author itself, themselves, or from um, the account got suspended, deleted, or whatever, um, the retweet will be gone but the counter won't be adjusted. And so you have some, some invisible tweets in the tweet counter um, that are still there. And as far as I know, uh, Twitter does not do any recounts for that or adjusting. Um, but once the, the script ran, um, you will see that there are no tweets on your profile anymore. And if there are still tweets, um, you can rerun the script. Maybe there was an error or something like that. Um, it won't do anything else but deleting your tweets. I have to mention that that this can get your account uh, suspended um, because Twitter does not allow automation. Um, but I think that, uh, so <laughs> at least in, in Europe, you have the right to delete your data. Um, and at the moment, Twitter does not uh, offer you an option to delete only the tweets. Um, I think that's that the law is above uh, the rule um, of automation because you don't spam anyone else. You don't tamper with the data from someone else. You just delete your own tweets, which is your good right. And uh, so I, I say <laughs> you, you can do it, but I just want everyone to know that, that Twitter could suspend you for it. Um, please let me know in the comments if this worked for you, um, if there are any questions or suggestions how to improve the script or something like that. And thanks for your attention. I hope I hope you find a good new place um, in the Fediverse, Mastodon or in Blue Sky or somewhere else, maybe Threads or whatever. Just leave Twitter and that's it. Bye.